lovely jelly baby. And now say goodbye to Bill as he meets a horrible and terrible death. Tragic, but I know what you're thinking. What's the chemistry behind this? Well, first of all we need to melt some potassium chlorate. This frees up lots of oxygen atoms. We then pop in another Jelly Baby. This time it's Bill's friend, Gene. And the sugar in the Jelly Baby reacts with the oxygen with exothermic results. The products of this reaction are CO2 and water. Well, aside from the light and heat, of course. And you can see the water is released as steam. Dreaming Jelly Baby! Well, no one to be honest. Well, apart from other jelly babies. <laughs> no, really, I mean it. Dreaming jelly babies. Who cares? Well, okay then. Well, the reaction we've just seen is an oxidation reaction. This means that oxygen is gained. It's a bit like when iron rusts and becomes iron oxide. If the opposite happens and oxygen is removed, we call it a reduction reaction. This happens in the extraction of iron from its ore. We say the iron oxide reduces. It loses oxygen, leaving iron behind. Note, the carbon monoxide is what we call the reducing agent. Also observe, the carbon monoxide is oxidized to become CO2. This means that oxidation and reduction are happening at the same time. For that reason, we call it a redox reaction. Redox, see what I've done there? Amazing. The other thing about this reaction is it's exothermic. This means it transfers energy to its surroundings. Other exothermic reactions include combustion, oxidation reactions like we've just seen, and neutralization. The opposite is endothermic reactions. These take in energy from the surroundings. Photosynthesis is the most obvious example of this. Here, light is taken in along with CO2 and water to produce glucose and oxygen. Some sports injury packs also work using endothermic reactions. Who gives a monkey's uncle? Quit while you're ahead! It's been boring! Alright, alright. Keep your shirt on. Be like that. The end. If you've been affected by any of the issues raised in this program, please contact the Jelly Baby Support Network or make a cash donation to SaveTheJellyBabies.com Thank you. The little jelly babies need you.